Hey, good Wednesday morning to you. Today we're gonna talk about uh, river fishing here in the month of December. Uh, it's not gonna be a weekly thing because as you know, until we get crazy cold weather, uh, the St. Clair River, the Detroit River are gonna be really, really hot for walleye fishing. And then we're gonna slide across to the other side of the state. We're gonna talk just a little bit about winter steelheading on the Pier Marquette River and the Manistee River system. So uh, let's get right into it. Eric Long from Longline Charters uh, here in the Southeast Michigan area has been guiding on the St. Clair and the Detroit River for absolutely decades. He's an expert at what's happening. So listen up. This river system, both St. Clair and Detroit River system, is already lights out right now going into the month of December. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that the fishing in December in the Detroit River and St. Clair River can be every bit as good as it is in March and April. The only difference is, is you're not fighting a gajillion boats. Uh, it is cold, no question about it. You gotta dress for the conditions. But if you're looking for hot action, uh, Eric said, tell the guys to concentrate on the Detroit River, to concentrate on the northern five miles of the river before it dumps into St. Clair. So that last five miles of river on the northern side of the Detroit River, it seems to be where a lot better fishing occurs. Um, same principles, on bright sunny days, uh, you're gonna fish deeper. You're gonna fish that 30 to 45 foot of water. On the cloudy days, the overcast days, or early in the mornings, later in the evenings, you can go ahead and slide up. The key to this is you're fishing the same traditional spots that you would choose to fish during the spring of the year. So all the information that you have in your head for spring fishing, it's all relevant, Eric says, to fall fishing. The fish seem to hold in the same general areas, uh, little dips, um, bottom dips that you find, little, uh, little sloping edges that seem to hold fish current eddies, all of the same stuff that you learn for spring fishing, you can apply it to fall fishing. Here's the one thing to remember though. Uh, in the spring, temperatures are cold, let's say 33, 34, when people start fishing, and then they're on their way up, which means the fish typically on a day in or week in and week out basis seem to be more aggressive as time goes by. The exact opposite is true in the fall where you're dealing with water temps in the low 40s and they're slowly dropping to the freezing mark, which means from an attitude standpoint, you're gonna wanna adjust, whereas in the spring you would slowly maybe get a little stronger or, or more frequent cadence to your, to your jigging. In the fall, you're gonna wanna actually go slower progressively as the season gets to more towards Christmas and even into January if there's no floating ice. So you're slowing your cadence down. Remember that the, the current is flowing. When you're holding that jig three inches off the bottom, the current is still flowing. And that jig is coming at that walleye and you don't want it moving so much that a kind of a lethargic, you know, 34, 35, 36 degree water temperature walleye isn't gonna be inclined to jog over to the right or to the left or lift up a couple of inches to hit your jig. You wanna make sure that cadence is nice and slow and you wanna also make sure you're still continuing to pound the bottom and come back up so that you're keeping that jig within three, four, five, six inches of the bottom. The other thing is at this time of year, make sure as in the spring, you're using braided line. If you put a little fluorocarbon leader on there, okay, fine, I get it. But the bite is gonna be a little tick. It's not gonna be this great big crash bite because these fish are usually pretty lethargic this time of year. More than willing to bite, all right, but they're not gonna come ripping in there and smash your bait as you get into December. So that braided line is gonna be essential for you feeling that tick in the palm of your hand and being able to set the hook on them fish that come in and just basically grab or mouth your bait. Uh, baits that you can use, this time of year, I really lean towards the purples and the darker baits and a Wyandotte worm. Uh, the purple panther is a new color they have out. Super good uh, color. Eric tells me he's used it extensively this fall and done well with it. Uh, uh, also, uh, 
Oh, Royal D. Royal D is one of my favorite colors that the Wyand folks over at Motor City Minnow and Wyandotte Worms makes, and that is because it mixes both the purple and the gold. Those are both two great colors in dark conditions. And uh, so anytime you're getting early morning, late at night, or cloud cover, Purple Panther and Royal D are gonna be absolutely lights out number. Of course, there's lots of other colors that people use during different watercolor and different light circumstances. Those are just two of the newer colors that I think people have really gotta have in their arsenal if you're gonna clean up. Obviously, I'm using a stinger hook as well all the way through the season. I never change from that. And so if you're looking for something fun and the wind is blowing a little bit or you just don't want to go out on the big water trolling, dump your boat in, find a spot to launch the Detroit River or the St. Clair River. Awesome options here for the whole month of December and as long as Mother Nature lets us fish. Thinking about buying a new boat or UTV for next summer? Be ready now and order your 2022 model early and beat the crowd. Ordering right now will save you money and the hassle when 10 other people want the boat you want that's in stock. It's never been easier to order early and get the pontoon or UTV that you want at Lakeside Motorsports Macosta and Nelson Speed Shop in Greenville. With over 36 name brand manufacturers to choose from, top-notch service department, and a state-of-the-art service facility, why go anywhere else? Be ready. Order your 2022 now. So hey guys, just in closing today, what makes the bait shop in Waterford such an awesome small bait shop? Well, I'll tell you what, it's the words, bait shop. They have the best bait anywhere in Southeast Michigan. If you're looking to get into ice fishing or if you're an ice fishing enthusiast, it's worth the drive to get over here in the mornings, get a couple scoops of the best bait anywhere in Southeast Michigan, get out on the ice. They've also got great information. They can help you out with the panfish lakes that are all around the Waterford area. And there's a bunch of them, guys. So uh, stop in, see Mark and the crew. They've got all the ice fishing equipment up on the walls. They always keep in the back wall, they always keep their bass uh, plastics up as well. Not a lot of shops do. And that allows you now, I know a lot of people when they get to this time of year, when they're done fishing, they'll spend a Saturday afternoon watching a bowl game. They'll have their tackle spread out in front of them and they'll be sorting through and they're trying to identify, what am I out of? What soft plastics do I need to restock on so that when I get the hankering to go fishing in the spring, I don't have to deal with out of stock situations. Well, Mark and the guys keep all of their swim baits, all their plastics and stuff like that in stock all winter long so guys can come in, stock their tackle box back up. So when that catch and release bite starts there in early May, you're all over it and you're ready to go. Visit the bait shop in Waterford for all of your winter and season round needs. <laughs>